Cerberus. How do you know that? Could be the talent. Never mind. Bit off more than they could chew. We should get a move on. Those idiots were experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. Extra security. The doors only open one at a time. Makes sense, considering what they had locked up in here. The door's unlocked. Let's get out of here. That doorway leads to the Gozu district. Look out!
Nairine, Arya and I are entering the Gozu district. Understood. Take out the turret! Friendly's incoming. Irene is waiting for you to go to the markets. What's going to happen to us? If that Talon scout hadn't found us earlier, we'd be dead. Cerberus is still on my station. Of course something's not right. Not what I was talking about. I'm checking this out. Going radio silent. What the hell is she doing? Where's Nyreen? Scouting ahead. We've got our hands full holding this area. She's going on to afterlife.
Irene Kandros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. You're a dead man! No, wait! <laughs> what now, Petrovsky? Divide and conquer, Commander. Kandros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. They are fully under The prototypes for our future army. Hold the perimeter. Get away from those generators. Keep shifting away from those generators. and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. <coughs> Shepard, I'm unarmed, and I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. You'll say anything to save your skin. But I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Arya? Yes. Cerberus had successfully taken the station and he let me go. Do you feel that, Oleg? That's death. Only inches away. Remember this feeling. For my partner and 
for the war against your master. You better cooperate. Take him, Shepard. You and your alliance can decide his fate. Just get this filth off my station. Commander, glad to see you've had a calming effect on Ms. Talok. I tried talking sense into her one time. I look forward to hearing how you pulled it off. Don't assume you know where this is going. What? From what I understand, high-ranking Alliance POWs lead fairly comfortable lives. Who knows? You and I may even become friends. That's not happening. Bray, get him out of here. For a few hours and I go all soft. You're like a disease. This victory came at a cost, Arya. It's not soft to recognize that. You sound like someone trying to sell something. I admire your tenacity. And thanks to you, I have Omega back. So what's your plan? There's a lot to rebuild. Starting with this command center. take some time to remove the general stink from my throne. Wonder if I'll ever really enjoy the pole dancing in here again. The citizens of Omega have been through a lot, Arya. Try to remember that. How can I forget? There are reminders everywhere I look. And don't worry. I'll honor our arrangement. Troops, ships, and a mountain of Izo. You earned it. Then I'll be going. Bray will take you back. I have a station to whip into shape. Citizens of Omega, hear me. I, Arya Talok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... and we will cast them from our home. Then bury and mourn our dead. My methods haven't always been popular, and I can't promise that will change. But securing this station and everyone inside it is now my primary purpose. No one will imprison us again. We may be bruised. We may be bloodied. Our Omega. You always get these crap details, Bray? Not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock.
Commander Shepard. The Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians or the Asari or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The Genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the Genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The Genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Salarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know 
is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? Well, how will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. Let's go get them. You're not setting foot on Sirkash. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. Then we'll slaughter the Solarians if they get in our way. Who's that? He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling freak show. But as long as he can hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never... What? We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic in. <clears throat> Anything goes wrong and all bets are off. Something new everywhere you turn. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. Attention, Brian. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. 
We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. <coughs> I suppose I can make room for you too, Garrus. <laughs> Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable for Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <clears throat> I can handle this, Rex. If anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! Oh, nasty looking customer. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention, Biolab. Thank <laughs> you. 